Good evening, my fellow crafters. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I'm going to do one more video tonight. This is my Blue Back to Nature by Artie Mays book. And I absolutely love it. It's so calming. It's blues and greens and creams and browns. It's a soft cover. It is... I took a yellow... The yellow clasp envelope. And I covered it in... This distressed paint, broken china, I went over it and then I went over it after it dried, I went over it with picket fence, which is just the, the white distressed stain. And I got this look and I just loved it. It looks so distressed. And then this is a um, stencil I had and I just did different color paints, the browns, the aquas, the corners, um, one fat signature. Roughly 88 pages. And this, these are fussy cut out flowers from Tsunami Rose. And all this corner over here is beeswaxed. And there's more the stenciling. And I fussy cut the butterflies out. And those are also beeswaxed. I did a lot of sewing in this book with some vintage lace. And we'll open it up. Here, um, this is a tag I made. It's actually all pink. So what I did is I just took some of my eyeshadow palette I had and I just put blue in it and then hit it with a little Mod Podge so it matched. Um, just a little cheesecloth, a little bird envelope. Also from Artsy Maze, I believe this is her Majestic Birds. And then a tag with the greens and the blues. This is just a corner. Oops. I was letting it dry. A, um, just uh, one of my vintage, style vintage uh, tags. And that's just a corner. Believe it or not, I did leave a lot of writing in this book. This is, um, the paper from the Art Artsy Maze, I ripped some of it and just made a corner and the story begins and I did a lot of just sewing. I love the cream and the blue together and the greens and just the envelope. So I just kind of stuck all that in there and I just distressed the ends. And here's just a little bag. I fussy cut the flowers and made some tags. This was a piece of old doily. Actually, the whole thing. I put the whole doily on the paper. And it's just a flip up. And just, I kind of kept the tag simple. Because I really wanted the blue to come out. And I just hit it with, again, that distressed ink. I just kind of like dried brushed the ends. And I did the sewing in blue. I just stamped a um, piece of material and just made a big, big tag for journaling. And this is part of the kit with a pocket in it. Over here is just a flip up with different, again, I just kept the tags very, very, well, back to nature. kind of says it, just simple. Here is a old vintage doily or tablecloth I can't remember and then I did some a lot of sewing with deli paper and just a big tag remember when this was fine still like even though I like the grungy I, I tried the twine binding this week I still like the soft covers Oh, let's see. Again, with a tuck spot that flips out, that tucks in. This is a, a napkin de decoupage to bag. And then just a little, some coffee stained paper I had. And this is a little pocket, again, with the um, material. Paper is so beautiful. I just sewed some material on there that went. Mm, it's not a pocket. This is a pocket, and then the little bag pocket, and everything again is sewn with just some trim, again with the material, 
And here's just just a tag, Tsunami Rose, and that's all been sewn on. That's some vintage lace. I just did a little stamping, and then I just made a little pocket up here, or a tuck spot, a piece of lace with some um, her pretty tags. This is a beautiful cap. Here I just made side pocket and some little books. I um, this is a piece of book page that I did decoupage a napkin and this is just a little file folder that I put a couple in and just folds out with another little piece of paper just for some secret journaling here I just made one big tag for journaling and that slides in there this is sewn on a piece of tissue paper here, just a banner with one of her pretty envelopes. And I just touched the paper to match with the distressed ink. And then I coffee dyed it, and so it bled through peachy, so which was perfect. And then I just did the brown. And here was some, this is from my stash, just pretty paper that matched perfect. That was from Pinterest. And this is just a pink, a, a piece of pink lace that I sewed on it. This was um, Dreams, etc. I love that paper, her lined paper. Um, here is this. I made two little flip ups, and then a little packet to close that down. Just some flowers, some stamping, some writing paper. Look at all the blank paper. And here is just a banner tuck with um, another little booklet I made just with some decoupage napkin and this is a packet with just some extra writing line paper birds are so pretty and that's just a cloth packet with a just a tag that I made vintage lace sewn on it this is just a little grouping with a little girl's picture because she had the blue on and Little sign. I just made three banners and um, little message, message, and a little other little tag. This is pockets um, with an envelope in it. I made from an old math book, and I just kind of dyed it the grayish blue, a little darker. Uh, some goodies in here. Oh, man. Every time. A little booklet. Some paper and some old music paper. And that comes down. And this will be on sale in my Etsy. Whoop. And that one on the side. I just distressed it. Here's another flip up, sewn around with the blue, and just all big envelope. Christy art, I think. And then here's just a little little booklet with a little ticket. There's a no, it's not an envelope. This is a um Belly band. This is actually a napkin. I did in three pieces on a piece of paper and I just did some little tags and another little writing spot. The battery's going low. And this is the um, Center. This is the applique I took off an old sheet. It was really pretty. Just um, the picture, and I just picked up stuff. They had the blues and the browns. There's a little button, and just flipped up. That's the middle. Lots of writing spots. Belly bands. 
And it's a pretty envelope. Tsunami Rose Fussy Cup Flowers. Just a book page that I just sewed with some a napkin on it. Flipped up. And some more paper. And again, another thing. Yep. Yeah. That comes up. And I just cut some of the envelope off to make a different kind of envelope. And flip up. More pretty paper. And some more tags. That just flips out for writing. And another little homemade tag. And just a little booklet. Flip out. This would be used for gardening. For anything. And it's like the back. I coffee dyed it. And this is just homemade. Like book page envelope with the pretty blue notepad for the pocket. Started getting a little too fat. Fluffy. I like Crafty Irene's fluffy, not cra not chunky. A uh, little tag with just again just the browns. I kept it with the browns and the creams, and just the pink to pick up the back. Look at all this blank paper. And then the back is just another ripped piece from the front. And that's it. I just left that blank because I, I just liked it. You can put a picture there or whatever. So that's my Blue Back to Nature book. Hope you liked it. Have a nice night and we'll see you soon. Bye.